Here I am in Pevex, where I'm spending most of my time. We've just got some more profiles over here and some building equipment over here. And um, we're also looking at this marble over here that we can put as window sills. See, in England, you usually use uh, plastic window sills, but here it's more like marble effect, which is uh, well, quality, isn't it? Quality. So, yeah, it's going to look really nice. Just need to sort out sizes. They don't do any cutting here. Getting this stuff and then we're gonna continue in the house. This place is kind of annoying though because none of the workers wanna help you and they basically try and run away from any of the questions you're gonna ask them. So it's a bit of a game trying to catch someone, but when you do, it's all right. Yeah, about cutting and they advised me to go to uh, the local graveyard so they can cut, uh, cut the marble over there. <laughs> Strange, but I guess, you know, they're dealing with marble all the time, so it's normal. It. Got the window sills in and the windows neatened up. Um, lovely finish. It's gonna look really, really good. Really good. Super pleased with that. <laughs> yeah, these books are looking all neat here now. How do you like my shoes? Savage the fronts because they're a bit too small. Give my feet a bit of breathing. Yeah, they look ugly as ah. Anyway, the floor here has all been adhesived, so primed up. Um, here, here, this room, no. We've got a plasterboard barrier here and a plasterboard barrier here. This has been adhesived as well. And what we're gonna do is just self-level this whole area here so that we're ready for laminate. Um, I believe we're gonna do this corridor with tiling, up to the bathroom and tiling, here in laminate, here in laminate, and here in laminate. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. And we're gonna mix them up here and get it done. When you don't have an iron machine. Is this really going to work? Yes. 
Perfect. Look. Yeah. And here on. Good, yeah. The economy, 100 euro. Yeah, 100 <laughs> euro, yeah. Yeah, Dusha. No problem. <laughs> no problem. No, so no, we need to use this welder. We haven't got the welder no, machine, no. so we've got to do it that way because we're not spending 100 euro on at all. Um, we're going to connect this up to there and then one in the bathroom as well. We're going to bond this plastic pipe. Hopefully it goes well. No, no second try. Super. Yeah, yeah. Super lovely. <laughs> yeah, this it, no, it's in normally technology. You have maximum six second. Six. For, uh, for it to go in the place. Uh just you no know, feel it if it comes air or not. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. Ah, that's it. Ah, <laughs> What can I say apart from that flux that I was using for the heating? It's an absolute failure. I had, in total, nine leaks. Nine leaks. More leaks than I've ever had in my life. And I've done a central heating install. Okay, one or two, that can be, you know, that can happen. Three, maybe at most, but nine. Um, problem was, I'm not used to using this flux, but I did take extra care when I was using it here because I cleaned all the fittings, I cleaned all the pipe. I even put the flux on the outside of the pipe and everything, and it still leaked, still leaked. So yeah, that's I literally spent my whole day today fixing leaks, which wasn't the best. Um, big waste of time. But there you go, you live and you learn. Um, there's a lot of things that make things harder here in Croatia because there is no compression fitting, so you can't just undo a fitting and then solder it um, in locations. So you force to cut it, clean it up, put a new piece of pipe in. So yeah, bit of a nightmare. Anyway, I'm gonna forget about that now. I've got most of them sorted, apart from one, which is on the water cylinder, which needs to drain 200 liters, so not the best. Our air conditioning. guys let's see what we've done so far how we're getting on in the house i've been super busy so haven't really had that much time to film so we can fill you in on the last day in a bit really we've bought some doors these nice white doors they're going upstairs in each of the bedrooms uh, one of the sides of the doors was too small so we've then opened that up a bit um, most of the first six wiring has been done. We've got here the pipe work sunk into the wall, ready for the kitchen first fix. 
rest of that's been done. Hole in the wall. So that's all good. Boiler. This isn't the final flue positioning, but we're just sort of planning it out. But this is going to have obviously a collar around it and everything because you can't just let it have an opening like this. Um, but that's going to be specially made in Latvia and sent over here. Um, pipe work here, We've got pressure gauge, auto air vent, and then two central heating pipes and the cold water for the filling loop to fill the boiler up. Then we've got the hot water storage tank here, which is electrically done. In terms of downstairs, we haven't done too much more. Um, just the electric side of things, you can see that's been neatened up loads, the fuse box has, that will all be covered so you won't see it. But yeah, that's a hell of a lot neater. Going upstairs, we still need to put the railings on the outside of the house over here. So up there, because it's quite dangerous and when it's windy, these doors kind of chuck open. That's why not a good idea to put them outside opening doors. Um, in a windy area so yeah we've got to put the railings on here but i'm telling you they weigh an absolute ton they're cast iron so uh we need some some muscle for that okay going upstairs where i guess the builder's been working we've got the holes done for the electrics they're bigger than usual but we've got quite big lamps so it should look really nice Door has been smoothed over, looking really nice now. All that foam taken away. Nice and neat fuse box. Primer coat been put on. As you can see, the electric's been nicely first fixed, not massive holes anymore. This is the door that we had to break open more a bit to make it an 800 door. Um, but yeah, that's all right. Then here you can see, this is going to be our little walk-in wardrobe, which is going to be nice. Plan to have like a shoe rack up here with all the shoes on, and then just sort of storage and, you know, the, the rails to show you your clothes. There's some more light fittings in here. Yeah, as I was saying, got a nice marble finish on the, uh, on the windows there. All neatened up, looking really good. Love this. A bit of a plaster on it, so you can't see the, the absolute finish on there, but when it's cleaned up, it'll look really good. As you can see, we've, um, don't look at my feet. We've um, self-leveled the floor, so that's all been self-leveled here self-leveled here just not in this room and not in this room so you can kind of see the difference and the walls and stuff haven't been primed in here so you can kind of see the difference here um the same in the bathroom here we bought all the laminate ready don't know if you can see because of the lighting but it's like a gray finish here which is nice with a three mil three mil underlay so that's all sorted for that. So it's gonna be really nice when it's done. They're only actually here for five more days. So I guess the builder has decided that he will stay three more days, which is great. So hopefully we're looking at hopefully finishing these three rooms um, so that we can sleep in them. And then, yeah, that's gonna be the main thing, but obviously there's still a lot of work to do because Got to level out those floors here and here. Got to obviously do all the flooring, do the doors. Um, yeah, there's a hell of a lot to do in five days. I'm not sure when the painting's happening, but that could be later on. But that's not something, you know, that's something we can do ourselves anyway. We bought like a, a special paint and it's like structural paint. It's got like, kind of like little lumps in it. It's not like a smooth finish like they normally are in England. It's more of like a little bumpy finish, but you know, that'll look nice in a house like this. 
where things don't need to look smooth and perfect. So yeah, that's that situation um, with upstairs. Oh yeah, so as you can see here, this gets washed off on a daily basis. All the flies are on them now, like madness. This is mulberries and uh, we've got this tree here, which give off these mulberry fruits. That's what they look like. Really sweet and nice. You can see there's loads. There'll be loads on here. And they're just dropping like every day. But yeah, they're quite interesting. But um, tree's great and makes a lot of shade, but obviously these fruits are a bit of a pain. You can't park your car underneath because it just gets buried up. Our main electrical cable is going to come through here. Got the old mains here. It's going to come through here. Everything's going to be mounted on the outside of the house. Down here cross here and then off until the electric box which is going to be behind this post here when they decide to come when they decide to come we're creating a channel for this electric cable it's going straight to the electric box over here behind the car so we're going to do a channel over here come with do a channel over here, to this table, all the way to this. Now, so as you can see here, um, they'd put this tube in the ground previously so that you can run a cable across this uh, driveway. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run the pipe through here, run the cable through here, and then off to here. Dig down into the wall, underneath the wall, and through to the electric meter, which is going to be right here. So, digging, and it's like 35 degrees, so it's going to be a hot, sweaty day. Cable through this tubing now with this string. But let me free on it. So yeah, in here, what's going on in here? Wow, look at that. Hey, that's our laminate flooring right there. Amazing. Incredible. So yeah, the room, you know, it's getting there, it's getting there. It's not long till it's done. Not long as that's done. Got the lighting to go in still. And, but everything's you know, really nice. And the structure paint we've gone for, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all this kind of, yeah, it's dry. Feels great. Perfect. A brilliant finish and a brilliant room. This will be Audrey's room. Um, See so here, we started just putting a bit of underlay in here, ready for this big room tomorrow. But again, this has all been painted, ready, and it is looking really, really nice. This is still storage room, storage room, and the hallway's been painted up as well. 
So yeah, I think tomorrow he's gonna focus on doing the laminate there and then continue in here as well. Just cleaned up all this floor around the edges, getting this to be self-leveled. Um, so we can get this room getting there, sorted. My guys and almonds are just doing the electrics now. They're getting the lights up, as you can see. Yeah. 